For decades, Ramaphosa has had his eye on the presidency. And on Thursday, the former trade unionist and businessman was sworn in. In December, Ramaphosa was elected leader of the ruling ANC. His first major decision was to remove his predecessor, Jacob Zuma, as head of state before his term was over. Thank you. We'll meet someone. This paved the way forward for him to become South Africa's fifth president. Ramaphosa says his administration will go after those who looted the government during the Zuma years. Issues that have to do with corruption, issues of how we can straighten out our state-owned enterprises, and how we deal with state capture uh, is, are issues that are on our radar screen. Those are issues that we're going to be addressing. One opposition party objected to his election. The economic freedom fighters wanted the president to be elected by all South Africans. When the Constitutional Court says we failed as parliament to execute our responsibility, they include all of us here. And therefore, no one should emerge from amongst us to stand for position of a, a president. We strongly feel that we must dissolve the fifth parliament, then go to the elections. As head of state, Ramaphosa takes over a country with an unemployment rate of nearly 30%. He is under pressure to attract more foreign investment into the country. while at the same time tackling the country's growing inequality. Philip Oweira, TRT World.